Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you using Web API how to create a cascading drop-down list with AngularJS. And here we got the final output. We are consuming Web API using AngularJS in HTML. These are the select option elements. Let's select the country India. See here we got the state names of the selected country name India. Now let's select Australia. See here we got Queensland, Victoria and Western Australia. If I select USA, we got the states of USA. Now I'm selecting California from USA, the city name. If I select New Jersey, suppose if I select India, Telangana, the city name is Hyderabad. If I select Australia, Western Australia, it's Path. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in Web API, first we'll check the tables and the columns in SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the root folder as well as the databases folder and notice sample db is my user database i'm expanding that one as well as tables folder now let's browse the tables the country select top those nodes let's browse the country table and here we got the country table next one is a city state so state Let's draw the state table and the last one I'm browsing the city table. Now here we got three tables. One is a country table which contains two columns CID and C name. CID is the auto generated column and C name is a country names India, US and Australia. And the second table is a state table which contains three columns SID, S name and CID. The SID is a state ID, S name is a state name, and CID is a city ID. If you notice in the state table, the column CID, and in the country table, the column CID, both are common between these two tables. And in the city table, which contains three columns, city ID, city name, and SID. The SID column, the last column, in the city and in the state table, the SID column both are common. Now my aim is using web API with AngularJS how to create a cascading drop down. So let's start the coding part in Visual Studio. For this video tutorial I'm creating a new project web API. Go to file new project and from the web templates I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Web API AngularJS Cascading drop down is a project name. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting Web API. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project first, I am adding adword.net entity model. Right click the project name. Go to add adword.net entity data model. Select that one. Let's give the model name. Cas is my model name. Click OK. And from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option. Click next. Let's create a new connection of SQL Server. New connection. No, I'm adding my server name, SQL Server. User. After adding SQL Server name, now I'm selecting the database name. The database name is a sample DB. I'm selecting that one. Test connection. 
is succeeded ok ok and here we got our connection string and the connection string name is a sample db entities and I am saving this connection string in the web.config file go with next and from the database objects let's select the tables as well as I am expanding the dbo the tables are city country table and state table after selecting the three tables click finish and here we got our entity models are added with the country state and city after adding the entity models to our project next let's open solution explorer let's minimize this references folder now let's add the web api controller in this controllers folder I click the controllers folder add go to controller and select web api 2 controller empty add the controller name here we have three tables country state and city so i'm creating three web api controllers the first web api controller for the country is a country web api controller click add and here we got the web api controller country now in this api controller i'm adding public i http action result get country names is a method this one is Now let's fetch the country names from the country table. I'm adding sample db entities, which is my connection string name. SD is an object is equals to new sample db entities. Variable country names is equals to SD dot countries dot to list method return ok method. I am adding this variable country names. That's it. We have written the code in this web API to fetch the country names from the country table. Now let's add the second web API controller for the state. Again, right click the controllers folder, add, go to controller, select the web API to controller empty, add. And I am giving the controller name which is a state add and here we got our state controller also uh, again add the public i http action result to get state names is a function after that i am adding sample db entities as d is equals to new sample db entities after creating an object for my connection string a list and the list the type of elements I'm adding we are getting from the state table so I'm adding the table name state let's create an object state names is equals to let's stay listed and now state names is equals to sd dot states dot select not select it's a where clause I'm using where x I'm adding the lambda expression x dot when I use a select the country ID from the drop down list control I want to display the state names of that country in the second drop down list control so I'm so adding the country ID double equals to in this action result I'm declaring a variable uh, int country id this variable i am passing to list to display the records I return ok i am adding state names that's it we have written the code in this web api controller 
when a user selects a particular country name i want to display the states of that country in the second drop down list control now the final one we require the city controller again i click the controllers folder add go to controller again select the web api to controller empty add give the name is a city controller add in the city controller public i http action result get city names and this get city names i am declaring the object int uh, city id state id when a user select a particular state from the drop down list control i want to display the capital which is a city name in the third drop down list control so let's add the coding part sample db entities sd create a object for my connection string new sample db entities after that um, a list class and this list the type of elements in the list we are getting from the city table city let's create a object city names is equals to as the dot cities dot where class i'm adding the lambda expression x dot city id as id is equals to state id this variable dot to list method i return okay add the object city names that's it we have written the code when a user selects a particular state id from the drop down list control i want to display the state name in the third drop down list control now we got the three web api controllers country state and city now to consume this web api we require the web api url address so go to country controller.cs let's browse to get the url of this web api controller country google chrome and here we got the output of the project which is a default home page now we require the web api the after domain name forward slash add the api forward slash let's add the api controller name which is a country copy this one enter and here we got the output of the web api country which contains three country names india us and australia now we require the state and city url also let's browse again copy this one and stuff country i'm adding our state controller name web api is a state let's add the state enter and here we got the results of the state web api it's showing some error messages because we are not passing any data to get the state names of a particular country name so this display the state names question mark i'm adding the variable id country id is equals to the country id is one i'm selecting which is india so here we got the state names of this selected country india telangana karnataka on the way and tamil nadu if i select two which is a usa and here we got the usa results now let's get the final one the web url for city so instead of writing the same thing i'm adding city here enter and here we got the results of this web api city 
again it's showing the error message because we are not passing the state id to get the city name so question mark state id is equals to if i enter to add and here we got the results of this selected state id2 which is karnataka the city name is bangalore if you check in the database the city the state id of 2 is bangalore which we got here in the results now let's consume these three web APIs in AngularJS. Let's stop debugging. I'm consuming these web APIs using AngularJS on a HTML page. So open Solution Explorer. Right click the project name. Add HTML page. I'm adding the page name cascading page click OK and here we got the cascading HTML page now between this body section I'm adding due tag inside this due tag I'm adding center tag H1 headers consume web API using AngularJS in HTML web API tutorials. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I am adding three drop down list controls which are the select elements. Select option. The first option value is empty, selected, disabled, and the default label for the first select option. select country let's copy this one select state and the final drop down list is select city after adding the select option elements now open solution explorer now let's install the AngularJS into our project. Right click the project name. Manage nurtured packages. Select that one. Go to browse and search for AngularJS. And here we got the results of the AngularJS search results. I'm selecting the first option. Click install. Click OK. And notice here, and notice in the scripts folder the AngularJS files are installing. And the AngularJS is installed successfully. You can notice here the green tick mark. Let's close this Nudget package. After install the Nudget package, now between the header section, I'm adding the AngularJS reference. Open Solution Explorer, expand the scripts folder, come to the bottom. Uh, here is the AngularJS, Jazz drag and drop on on this HTML page after that now let's add the script to consume the web APIs script my app is equals to angular dot module 
and this module takes parameters the first one string name between double quotes I'm adding my angular application name which is my app comma and the second parameter is the array request so just I'm adding this array my app dot controller is a method and the controller method takes two parameters one is the name which is a string I'm adding the controller name comma the callback definition is a function dollar scope comma dollar http first let's bind the country name in this first select option element dollar http method is equals to it's a get method and the second attribute I'm adding URL between single quotes I'm adding the the country web API URL which is this one and let's add this URL copy this one add here dot and then function I'm adding result country dollar scope dot I'm adding the object get country name is equals to a result country dot data semicolon and let's close the semicolon here that's it we have consumed the web API in this angular.js now let's bind this angular.js in the select option to display country names come to the bottom in this div first I'm adding ng iPhone app I'm adding my angular application name which is my app the second directive ng iPhone controller is equals to I'm adding the controller name now in the select option I'm adding another option tag which is for to display all the country names ng iPhone repeat x in I'm adding this object get country name value is equals to the angular expression between curly braces x dot CID the column names from the country table CID and C name between curly braces x dot C name that's it we have consumed this web API and binded the data in AngularJS to display records in this select option element let's check the output Google Chrome and here we got the output of the HTML page which contains a headed axe horizontal line and three select option elements which are drop down list controls let's check the select country see here the country names are binded into this drop down list control select country now my next target is if a user select any particular country suppose for example if a user select the India I want to display the state names of the India so let's write the coding part let's add a function dollar scope dot I'm adding the function name get states is a function name is equals to function I'm adding the object CID now in this function I'm adding dollar http dot get method and the get method takes the parameter string URL between single quotes I'm adding the URL of the state 
copy this one paste here comma between curly braces I'm adding parents colon now between these curly braces I'm adding the uh, parameters uh, go to state controller I'm adding this country ID object colon I'm adding this object CID dot then function uh, result states dollar scope dot get state name is an object a result state dot data semicolon and I'm closing the semicolon here also and that's it we have added the angular.js functionality to display the state names of this selected country now in the select option element I'm adding ng iphone model is equals to the model I'm adding CID this function name and ng iphone change I'm adding this get states function name this CID then in the select option Let's create another option ng repeat angular directive is equals to x in I'm adding this object get state name value is equals to between double quotes I'm adding the angular expression x dot sid state id and i want to display the state names x dot s name that's it we have binded the state names of this selected country from the drop down list one now the same functionality will adding for the to get the city name so instead of writing this whole part copy this one paste here instead of CID I am adding city ID the web URL address is a city let's change the function name get city parents the city control I'm adding the state ID the object name uh, friends here it's not city ID it's SI, state ID let's copy this one and paste here get city name is an object result cities result city result city dot data that's it we have added the angular js functionality now let's bind in this select option elements the second select option I'm adding ng model is equals to I'm adding the SID ng iPhone change directory is equals to the function name which is get city the SID and the last one I'm adding another option to display the city name ng iPhone repeat repeat directive x in I'm adding this object name get city name value is equals to the angular expression 
x dot to display the city city id and city name let's add that one city id x dot city name that's it we have done the complete coding part we have consumed the three web api controls country state and city into html page using angular js let's check the final output google chrome and here we got the final output we are consuming web api using angular js in html these are the select option elements let's select the country india see here we got the state names of the selected country name india now let's select australia see here we got queensland victoria and western australia if i select usa we got the states of usa i'm selecting california from usa the city name if i select new jersey suppose if i select india telangana the city name is hyderabad if i select australia western australia it's path that's it